right, everybody, on today's parts video, we have this, well, in pieces and very disgusting old Dover fixture. We're gonna fix this thing up. Let's go ahead and get started. So laying all the pieces out here, we can see all the parts that make up one of these older Dover call buttons. And this one is in not the greatest shape as you can see here. So if we just pull this off, this is the little metal plate. Here's the plastic part, or this is what holds everything together. This is like your base. It as well is kind of gross. This will definitely be interesting to clean up. These little pieces are the little rings that go in here. So these kind of slide in to these little holes like that. And then these little rings hold them in place. So these will actually kind of slide behind there. As for the actual buttons, here are the two buttons here. You can actually see that one of the arrows fell off. It's just glued on there. It's not even held on there very well, so we will have to re-glue it. But something kind of interesting about these old buttons is the fact that they actually are green and red. So this one's green and this one's red, even though we really can't see it. So taking a little closer look at these buttons, uh, these wires are obviously going to go, but we'll take a look at the one without the arrow. So this is the actual button piece. It's kind of a clear plastic. And like I said before, the arrow would sit on top and it's being held on with this piece. Now as for the lamp, these are kind of interesting. So there's these little pull tab kind of things on the back. You pull those out and then you pull this out. And that's where you put your bulb. Pull this out here and then if you unconnect these wires, these little metal pieces will actually come out. Put them back in, you slide this in here and then click the little push pinny thing back in. And as for the contact bits, here on the side, there are these kind of modular little switches and when you press in on the button, simply pushed it down and we can see how absolutely wonderful this one is as it got stuck. But here's one that works on this side. And on this side, these actually appear to be replaced. Look how nice and clean these are. So first I'm actually going to work with the buttons a little bit. I'm gonna get all these wires off and see if we can maybe make these buttons a bit nicer. <laughs> Two buttons are pretty much done. I still need to glue this little cap back on, but we'll do that in a little bit. I've cleaned up both of the buttons and I replaced the contact block because that was really disgusting. And this one's also broken. So this will be broken down and salvaged into parts. But our two buttons are now clean and fully working. Just like that. So the next step is the plate. And this is gonna be nice and fun. These little plastic guys will be pretty easy to clean up. So let's do that really quick. Just like that, nice and clean. Those are ready to go. We can go ahead and put those on there. Get an idea of how it's gonna look. Very nice. And now we have to tackle this. The plastic part and the metal part. So this could take me a little while to do. Gonna first focus on the plastic. So I'm not really so concerned about the center, but more about the sides. Uh, we'll see if we can get this paint off. No guarantees that we will. But let's see what happens to it. And here's the plastic piece after I'm finished with it. And you can see it's by no means 100% great. It definitely looks a lot better than it did. And with this on top, the sides are no longer coated in paint. Looks very good. This bit here on the corner is actually broken. You won't really notice that very much though because it's kind of on the bottom in a way. But this definitely is an improvement. So the next thing is for this. This is the metal piece. So we'll see how this turns out. And here we have the completed panel. And you can see it looks a whole lot better than it did before. And now we can go ahead and put it on top of here. And we can start putting this whole thing together. Putting it together is fairly simple. We have to add these little rings. 
And then we have to screw the buttons into the back, which I'll have to get screws for. I still have to glue this piece back onto here. And then we gotta start wiring it up. Here it is, the completed button. So this thing went from being in pieces and completely disgusting to a fully working button. If we turn off the lights, we can see how it works a little bit better. Not only do the arrows light up, but the rings around the buttons light up as well, which look really awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this little parts project. This was definitely a lot of, lot of work, but a lot of fun, and I'm very happy with the way this piece came out. Again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.